This chapter is about the hook modifier, and the hook modifier has a very nice feature, and it can attach objects to vertices, and I'm going to show you with this vertex, and um, I usually do not place the hook modifier from the modifier menu, but with a shortcut, because you can just uh, have, it's a lot easier. So, if you select this vertex, press Ctrl H and select, select Hook to New Object. And this will create an empty, which will then function as your hook. And uh, you can see that this uh, empty gets um, automatically put into this field. And if I now move this empty, the vertex that I assigned it to moves with it. And I have to say, I don't know how to uh, do this from the modifier stack, but fortunately, I mean, which vertex is going to be assigned to the empty. Um, but uh, that doesn't matter, because you can just uh, easily press Control h Now, I, do I have to admit, I created a vertex group, and I have to admit that I don't know how the vertex group is affecting the hook modifier, because apparently... Um, my hook is part, my hook vertex is part of the group and uh, these five more vertices are also part of the group but uh, the group gets uh, none of the other vertices gets affected and maybe if I invert this group let me just check that uh, assign and control I remove I do not know what the group, or what the vertex group mo um, field in the hook modifier does, but usually you would not use the hook modifier for just one vertex because it's just not very much that you can control. And um, you could make a bunch of empties or uh, connect um, this vertex and this vertex to the empty as well. You would have to select the empty and then shift select the um, the icosphere and then press control H and then hook to selected object now our object will push or pull those three selected vertices so this is a nice feature if you want to deform your model but um, the probably more <laughs> the more commonly used um, function for the hook is to use it with a curve because if you control a vertex of a curve, you also control the handles with it. And you can see it's stretching the curve. So if I select this, shift select the curve, or actually I should move this closer to this vertex because that gets really confusing. So if I uh, press shift S with this vertex and the two handles selected, shift S, cursor to selected, and then again shift S, selection to cursor, then they have the same coordinates and that will save you a lot of trouble because otherwise it gets offset and it gets really weird so uh, s select the empty, shift select the curve, tap into edit mode select this vertex only, this pivot, uh, this handle and press ctrl H and hook to selected object now if I rotate my empty you can see how the curve rotates with it if I scale my empty it has the same effect as the handles being scaled. So this is actually a much uh, you actually have a lot more control with with uh, the empty if it's a, a hook of a curve handle. Now I can go ahead and uh, move this curve up here, and I'm going to select three of these vertices because I think the hook modifier goes hand in hand with the vertex parent. And if I now uh, select cursor to selected and uh, select the empty and again shift S selection to cursor, then my empty is at the exact center of this triangle. And if I then press control P, I can make it a vertex parent. Now vertex par parents can be made with um, one vertex or three. With one, it's just scanning for the position. And if you have three, it's also going to take into account the rotation of this face or the rotation of the three vertices even if they don't form a face. It will just uh, be, be uh, the average. If I now move this empty, uh, this, that's weird, apparently I did not press Control P, 
make vertex parent. There we go. The empty is now parented to the um, icosphere. And maybe I should clear the rotation because right now I want with if you press S, X and then zero you can um, you can make this uh, these two handles to be exactly on the same X position. And um, if I now move the icosphere you can see the chain is sort of swinging with it. And if I move rotate the icosphere like this and maybe set a keyframe, location, rotation and move it over here and I do sort of the opposite and again location rotation if I scrub through this you can see it's not very uh, tidy and you need a lot more in-betweens and stuff but you can see the chain is sort of following the empty and maybe this is a tongue of a chameleon or something you can then extend the curve or well it's just uh, you be creative, go nuts. It's just a nice way of uh, parenting a chain to a part of the object. So that's the hook modifier for you. If you select a fall off, then the original uh, position of the handle, which is here, will be taken into account and all only the difference between the position and scale and rotation of this empty to the original position scale and rotation of the handles will be taken into account. And uh, I guess that's it for the hook modifier. And tomorrow we'll talk about the lattice modifier. We'll talk